Hello, I'm JC, and on this video, I want to show you how you can create a record on your uh, table account uh, from your VoiceFlow agent. So let's go. Here on VoiceFlow, I have a very simple uh, flow to collect some information from the user. And then I'm using a function step to uh, put the information on the Airtable. I import the function, uh, and then I uh, fill out all, all, all the information. So here, uh, let's see how, uh, how it looks like. Um, at the moment, for my use case, I am having like three inputs uh, from, from my business. So booking category, item, and, uh, item and date time. And a customer ID, I'm collecting it uh, beforehand. Uh, but um, yeah, it's another piece of information that I need. And from Airtable, uh, there are three, uh, three variables. So API token. Uh, you can go to your uh, Airtable, you click uh, on your account here, then you go to Developer Hub, it will go to this place, and then it will go to, yeah, Access Tokens. So let's create a new one. So let's say Alba Function. Uh, as the name is Scopes, uh, I only need to write, and then I need to give it uh, yeah, information for um, yeah, for the access to, to a specific uh, database. So with that, uh, we create the token, then we click here, uh, go back, and then we put uh, on API token the, the string. For a uh, base ID, uh, we go, uh, we say done, then we go to our, um, yeah, our place here. So on the URL, you can see this string. So it's the first uh, string that you have after the, the domain. That's the name of your uh, base ID. And for the table ID, uh, you can use uh, the name of your table bookings, or you can also use this. But yeah, I'm using the, the easy one, so bookings. And uh, if you change uh, yeah, the name of the table, that you will need to change it here. So maybe that's why you need to use the, the ID, but yeah, keep that in mind. And that's all. For outputs, uh, you will have available the record created by Airtable, table. And I'm using a, the ID as booking ID. So yeah, that's, that's pretty much. Um, let's see how it works. And then a couple of things, if you want to update this, uh, it will ask me some information. So in this case, what massage do you want? Let's say Swedish. Uh, then it will ask me yeah, the time. So let's say Tuesday at uh, 10. Uh, we, let's say we check some information uh, on our system. We have available uh, slots. And then uh, you will see some uh, debug uh, messages here with uh, yeah, some information. So yeah, a table API called successful booking ID 40, and then you will see it also on the yeah, on on the messages. Um, then uh, we can go here, and then let's see we created uh, another entry here. Let's refresh. It should be there uh, with uh, yeah ID 40, as you see Swedish uh, Tuesday at, at 10. So yeah, it, it works uh, quite good. Let's go back here, uh, book massage, and then on the function, let me show you a couple of things. Uh, so as the inputs, uh, you of course, you can customize this if you want to create more, more things, uh, more data points, uh, but at the moment, I'm using these three as information and customer ID to connect uh, the information on Airtable from one record uh, to another on a different uh, table. So I have at the, at the end customers, and this uh, number is the one that is uh, connected with the customer's uh, ID here. So as, as you see, 40 it belongs to Bob. Uh, the other things uh, are the information that I am uh, asking. So if you want to change, uh, you need to go here, payload records, and then put as the keys of the fund of the object, the names of your uh, 
table uh, columns here. So in my case is booking category, booking item, and booking date time. If you want, if you want to have a different information, you, this is where you need to update. Uh, the other things, uh, yeah, you have a validate inputs uh, at the end to validate some some inputs. Um, yeah, the URL. Then we construct the request and then we validate the response. And then you have the output variables, which is uh, yeah records. And as you see, booking ID is the just uh, fields dot ID, uh, which is an auto number that I am creating here. So if you want to have a different field as an output, uh, here's where you need to update it. And you can customize the debug traces here and then the error uh, return. So that's all uh, from the function. I hope it was helpful. I hope you can create uh, records on Airtable now more easy. So that's uh, all for this one. Thank you, bye-bye.